For this week's Trans World Motocross How To presented by Bike Bandit, we're gonna pack bearings. Pack and grease your bearings. You're gonna need a couple of tools. Um, obviously some nice Maxima waterproof grease uh, will do the trick. And then a bearing packer. You can find these at just any automotive supply place, you know, Pet Boys or AutoZone. Um, any place like that will have them. Just make sure it's face down inside the packer. Slide the little plunger over it kind of work it back and forth or in like a circular motion. Pull your plunger back out. Kind of look look over your bearing. Now, right now it just looks like there's a bunch of grease on it, but it actually needs to go quite a bit further. You can just see how nothing's really coming out of the bottoms yet. So that means the bearing isn't full of, of grease yet. So it needs to go more. So now you can see once you pull it out that the grease is oozing out of the bottoms of the bearings. And that's how you can tell that it's nice and full. Just wipe off the excess, put it back in there, and you're ready to go. Okay, so a lot of people don't have bearing packers, don't have access to one. Um, that's okay. If that's the case, uh, here, we'll show you how to do it. Um, basically, just same thing. Grab your brand new bearing, uh, get, get a big healthy palm full of grease. Kind of smooth it out, make it a little bit even. And the same thing when it's in the bearing packer. That lip right there is what you're gonna be forcing the grease through until it comes out of that side of the bearing. So then turn that down, try to just get the, uh, the edge, edge of the bearing on the bit of the grease and just kind of force it down inside the bearing. This takes quite a while and kind of just brush it off of your hand. So you notice you have like a clean portion of your hand where, where it used to be grease filled. And you'll start noticing that it gets to the bottom. So then just repeat that process all the way around the bearing until it's completely full of grease. You really wanna like spend some extra time and make sure that there's a lot of grease coming out of the bottom of the bearings um, because it's, it's important and the rider is gonna feel it when he's on the bike. If the headset is, doesn't have enough grease, it's gonna feel notchy and, and just not smooth and nice. Uh, so just make sure you take your time and get a lot of this grease inside this bearing. Okay, so then as far as the bottom bearing goes, obviously this bearing is pressed onto the stem so you can't take it off. It's a little bit more difficult, but the same principle. That, that opening right there is what you're gonna try and force the grease into. Um, so just take a small amount of grease, kind of just kind of leave a little pool there. And with your other hand, you can kind of just start forcing in grease down inside that lip. This is a lot more tedious and takes quite a bit more time than doing it in your palm of your hand, but it needs to be done. Make sure you get all the way around it until the grease comes out of the bottom. Once you see the grease coming out, just kind of clean up with a rag. Uh, you know, take away all this excess right here. It is not necessary to have grease all on the stem. I see a lot of people do that. It only rides on this bearing on that face and on the other bearing that's, that's there, right on those two races that are inside the steering stem. So again, you do not need grease all on the stem. Uh, once you clean it up, uh, put it back in the bike and you're ready to go. So now you know how to grease and pack your bearings. And that's gonna do it for this week's Transworld Motocross How To presented by Bike Bandit.